Hello, hello, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video, and this time on the Magic Roundabout, we have these two Corgi Toys Chevrolet Caprice Classics. So, as you're watching go around, just want to say hello to all your friends of the channel, welcome back. Uh, any new friends, welcome aboard, hope you stick around and like these videos. So, yeah, this is what, what we're doing next, so let's get them off your magic on the bench and... Uh, have a good look at them. Okay, here we are then. So I've got these two Corgi toys. Let me just see them light. Chevrolet Caprice Classics. Okay, one's a probably, a probably a New York yellow taxi. And the other one's all stick it up, live it up for um, a stock car, maybe, or something like that. So, I've got two rivets on each base. Oh, it's, uh, have a go. for that noise we do all came alive <laughs> right already should come out right, more a bit more drilling down to it That's it. Right, now then. So the axle's fixed to the base, so that's all good. Right, front off. Right, what I'm going to do is it looks more like something there. I'm going to keep the bumpers on the front here and just uh, cut out. Yeah. So I'm just going to cut out the other lights. So you've got left the grill and the bumper left, that's it. Do that on both of them. Right, interior. So it's 
So all we've got is like a lot of bench seat on the front here. So that's all we need. So we need to just cut along the back of the seat. Uh, glass unit is comes out easily. This is right. Dashboard is fitting with rivets, so if I need to come out. Dashboard, I mean, and that's the glass, which should come out now. Okay, so there's a salvageable piece here, along with that bumper. Right, that's that one. Might do exactly the same with this one. Where's we doing, Morgan? Again, that's all fixed to the base. Uh, yeah, same again, keep the front bumper. Don't need the back one. Interior, same again. Just cut away behind the bench seat on the front there. Oh, no, where's the later? No, I thought it was a later model, but no, it's exactly the same. So we'll drill out the rivets, hold the dashboard and the glass in. Okay, nice piece here to be saved. Right, I need to get rid of this. Let's have another rivet so they can just be drilled out. There we go. So we can save that. Who? Right. The last time I did two of these, I upset some classic car people. They said I was destroying a classic. Yep. Well, that's their views anyway. first is going to do the bits on the interior and then we'll start sorting out the uh, castings. Right. 
So in here we are, we just want the front bed seat. Don't know if the general will be any good for this. It's not the way out to be honest. Hex or um, do it the other way. Bench seat on the front, which we, we use. Back seat we don't need, so I can go. All right, same. All right, same this one. Same again. Piece. Just the front piece we need. Right, I'm going to keep all of the dash in on both of these just so that it holds, stays in place. Right, where's the other bit gone? I've lost a dash. Right, it is. Right, so we've got two dashboards, two front seats. Right, do the bumpers next. Like I said before, I'm just going to cut out the bits where the lights are. <laughs> Fix it back in up, back to the casting up, but it's more car like up on the front. Well, it's a huge empty space. <laughs> Because we're cutting that bit out. Yeah, like that. That's it. And just clean up the uh, remains afterwards. That's it. Right, I've got a file here, flat file, so I'll do that. I'll tell you what we'll do, maybe be easier.
and done. And I'll do the same with this. Oops, do want to do that. Oh well, okay, right. Do the same then. Right, so let's see how it looks on the casting. Right, so. Might, might be alright, it might, might, might work. off on the cast in the base yeah it might work not with any mind but it's different right now then I'm gonna have to do this bit of camera now because it's uh, got a bit of work involved what I've got to do is on the castings it's just basically cut the wings so that's Basically, it's just cutting. You know, my drum's not working properly, so I've got to use a hacksaw to do this. Hence why I've got to do it off camera. Basically, is that bit across there mainly? And the same on that side. So I've got to do it on both castings. And on the base itself. Cut the ends off on the front, so it's basically just those two. If you just about to see, no, you might not be able to see the dark, just about to see the lines where I've, I might want to cut there and across there. So I cut those off so they're clear of the wheels, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's it. Yeah, right, but I've got it off camera. So, I'll show you these and all done. Right, see you shortly. Right, okay, I don't know what necessary butchering to the uh, various parts. Um, as you can see on the, oops, on the um, front bumper that I kept. So the front light's been removed on both of them. Uh, interior, just got a bench seat left on both of these. Okay. On the casting itself, I've, uh, as you can see, I've cut the wings on the front. Things. And on the base itself, we'll just cut the ends off on the front here. Right, so the next thing I'm going to do is make the H frames for both of these, uh, and then get them, get the bodies prepped, uh, ready for painting. Righty ho! Right, I'm going to show you how these H frames are made again. So I know we've done this once or twice on some of these, so. I just like to give people a recap how to do these. Right, so on this one, I've put the interior in because the H-Rain goes behind the seat. So, so you do it across one first. Okay, so then okay, so inside the casting to the inside of the other side. Okay. Right, so you've got the 
be so kind of like that okay so you cut where the line is Oh, that's a bit too short. Okay. Yeah, sometimes that happens. Right, so you go a little bit longer. Alright, so. I'm still using it for the upright. Yeah, that one is a bit too short. We still use it for the uprights in the middle inside it. Go just a little bit longer. Your Dremel's died. No. <laughs> Typical. Just when I need it, it's died. <laughs> oh well. Right, plan B then. Right, use your uh, use the cutters. Right. Too long. Let me fire in. Boom, 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 boom. Nearly there, Just a little bit more. Right, it's going in there. Right, so it goes across. It's going to be a little bit tight, but it doesn't matter. That's okay. We need it tight anyway. Just because there's on camera, it decides to go uh, all peaked on. Right, we're in, I think. Right, just make sure the interior still goes in. Just about, yep, that's about right. It's all good. Right, the uprights will go at either end. What we need to do is just glue. Glue both ends of that cross one. Right, 
So, I've got some glue in for up lights at each end, like that, like that, and on the across one as well. So it helps it stick. Stick more glue on it. Okay, I'm going to that stick, we'll just get that nice and straight. Okay, now while that's drying, I'm gonna do the H frame on the other one. So it'll be done exactly the same way. And then once they're dried, I can trim them down so that the base fits on them nicely. Mighty ho, okie dokie. Right, preparation time now. Right, as I've shown you, I've put the H frames in both of these. Yeah, I'm paging them as well. So now I'm going to bolt the doors up and the bonnet as well, uh, and the boot lid I mean. Alright, so I'm going to do the boot lid first because I've thought another way of doing this. When I put the triangle bits on the bonnets, the bonnet, actually the bonnet plates, <coughs> excuse me, I thought I'd do the same thing for the, uh, the boot lid as well. A bit of glue on there. So, right. here we are, like that. Okay, in position. There you go, on there, like that. Yeah, that, that, that works. Just make sure it's overlapping the boot lid and it's on the uh, yeah okay then it can't open in there you go so that's a new thing to have a go at Now, as you know, I've got no caustic soda at the moment, so I'm going straight to paint after this. Okay, one side done, and the other side.
Oh, okay, like that. Now a thin plate on the roof. Right, so that's one done. So doors are bolted both sides. Boot lid is bolted down too. Thin plates on. That's hanging up on the side. Right, same with this one. in that position eh? just about there just about there we go is that one done now the doors okay not done the uh... yeah I did, did enough for the first car but not the second one okie dokie Right, so all they are, just a small bit of cardboard, cut a strip off, okay, Right, doors now. Tweezers. Oops. Side done. The other side. So that's done. Got a thin plate on the roof. Like 
nice that bit done. Right. I'm going to get one of these pages now. Let it dry overnight. I don't think I'd do this one, I think, so. Get rid of all these stickers and things. Yeah, it's looking good so far, looking good. Right. Right, okay, I've got my phone on my camera stand now, so we've got to be very careful now. Sometimes I do is it does cause a bit of a disaster. Right, so yeah, whoa, 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 whoa.
So that's that one done. Well, what I'm going to do is put it on the uh, another stand. Oh, I'm going to fall off this one. It is the way it's sitting at the moment. Okay, a quick update on these. Right, so I've painted the first casting, which is this one here. That's the first one I've done. Um, I've just just painted the uh, the green stripe, as you can see here, letting that dry on both sides. As you can see, I'll just show you. There you go. Um, I've also painted this casting as well. So letting that dry off now. Um, yeah, so when the green's dried on this one, I'm going to finish off doing all the uh, details on it. And then start to put it back together. And then be the same with, with this one here. Paint the green stripe across it, both sides. Put it back together. Put the details on it. Have your job done. So, um... Yep, all, all good in these so far. Yeah, right. Uh, so um, let's see if we're assembling. Right. Okay, it's reassembly for these. But right, as I've got two of these, I'll just show you one of them because they're not exactly the same. So um, yep, let's crack on. So you put dashboard back in first. Now because the dash was glued in um held in with rivets. So I'm just gonna put a dab of glue where the rivets were drilled out. Right, dash can now go back in place. Uh make sure we get the right way around. That, yep, to put double glue over that, make sure. Okay, now the interior can go back in. That should sit in there nicely, that's it, like that. Uh, we've kept the front bumpers on these. Okay, so that can go straight in as well. That should be able to sit. Let's turn it over that way. That should sit on that post here. Should do it for you. It did when it came off anyway. I suppose they've been grounded off a bit. <clears throat> so I'm going to 
put a dab of glue on it, I think. Just to... Oh, we'll get there. Okay. Right, now the uh, base. That can go on. Back in like that. Yeah. Oops, the dashboard's coming out. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I have to do this by hand. So what makes me look like that do it? Boom, 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 boom. Oh heck, that's the tool I want. Right, okay. There is it. Right, try again. Right, that's, that's sort of in place now. Right, so they put the rivets back in. in there <sighs> right is that that's it okay with it for going there or not because of the post Ready with it now. That's it, got it. thing Arr. this little 
with it is fighting me. It does not want to go in. There we go. Got it at last. I'm going to stay in here. Yeah, that's it. Ho. Right, so that's that one done. On the other casting, while it's drying, I've just painted a green stripe on both sides. Right, so we will need a little bit of tidying up to do when it's dried. So when that's dried and all done, I'll start putting this one back together. Righty ho. Alright. See you soon. Right, I've decided to do the lettering in a slightly different way. Um, I've got these uh, stick on decal numbers and letters. This sort of thing here, you can see that. Yeah. Yeah, which you can get any station is really. There's a little letters one there as well. Yeah, but I got you some hobby craft. I thought it'd be ideal for this sort of thing. So I've done done this side, I'll show you the other side. So I'm going to start on it. I'll finish off on camera for you. I've actually used the letters before when, when I did the um, Any Sports Vehicle Challenge on my two Jaguar XJSs. It worked on those, so I thought I'd try to get on this on these. Yeah, it's fairly straight.
nice. Yeah, that works all right. That side. I'll oh, just do the uh, other number. Okay. There you go. So all I've got left to do now is I want to get some more white paint. To go paint this number plate. Put the letter numbers on there, and that'd be done. Yeah, there you go. Simple as that. I'll do the same thing with the other one, but just different base number and different name, that's all. Yeah, there you go. Right, righty ho. Right, okay, here we are then. All finished. Packing our magic around the bell. Yeah. So we've got these two uh, Corgi Toys Chevrolet Caprice Classics. Um, you know, I've done the same little twin, but I've done on the uh, on both of these in the same style. That is. So we've got number twenty six, Wolfie Jeff Walford, Sally no longer with us, and also Tombo twenty five, Mark Thomas. So, um, actually one thing I have done actually, which I just noticed that I've sort of swapped over the interiors, so they're not colour coded, but apart from that, all good, yeah. yeah so, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, as usual. Just read all, all the comments underneath. So until next time, uh, stay safe, enjoy, and bye for now.